Next, the cowling. The cowling is going to be red as well. Uh, the cowling is a little easier to paint. It's all red. There's no masking required. I'm just going to hold it on the inside and um, and and use the paintbrush on the, my fingers on the outside here. Looks like I need just a touch more of that that red paint. It's called Holiday Red. Um, this is the paint that I'm using. It's a holiday. It's called Holiday Red, uh, and picked it up from my local hobby store. So two solid coats um, of undercoat or primer over the top of um, the the filler that used to fill in all the gaps. And as you can see, it's it it already looks quite smooth, and I think it's going to have that metallic look especially once we get a layer of paint over the top and hopefully none of the grain or the um, or even the lamination marks from the if I've done a good sanding job and this is when we'll see it'll surface out if I've done a good sanding job then the lamination marks won't show through either so we'll um, I'm just gonna stop talking I'm gonna paint this uh, feel free to forward if you find it a little boring. There's nothing special about what I'm doing. And like I said, you know, you, you may choose to go the extra mile and buy a uh, fancy airbrush or um, maybe just use a can, a spray can to paint it. Um, you know, that might be an alternative. I'm just going to stick with the old-fashioned paintbrush. And again, this is the first coat, so definitely won't be perfect. We'll look a little uneven. We'll have some of the white show through from the undercoat and it'll be the second coat which I will uh, include in this video where we should see it come through and start to look really really sharp. And I'm just going to stop there. I think that should be good. should avoid trying to be perfect. Okay, so I'll stop there, I'll let that dry, and we'll do a second coat. Uh, it should dry fairly soon. I'll do the wheels next. The wheels are gonna be silver. I'll paint both sides, but I'll paint one side at a time and let each side dry to avoid having um, the drying side mess everything up. And this should be fairly straightforward. Um, the only real challenge with painting this is to avoid getting any paint into the, the hole in the middle of the wheels because that's where uh, the axle is going to go and any paint in there will just stop the ax the, the paint from drying, um, the axle, the wheel from spinning. Mm, the paintbrush is a little wet. I think I better switch to a different one. The paint was just going on a little wet, uh, thin. It's basically the dry, wet paintbrush was thinning the paint, and it was painting. So um, that's not great. But just remember, this is the first coat. The second, it really is just to get the coverage. The second coat is what will give us our um, beautiful finished look. And I know that this can actually, this paint looks really nice because it was um, the same paint that I used on the cowling for the uh, the Fokker that I've shown in a couple of other, the other videos here and I'm starting a second uh, playlist on my channel uh, for the Fokker so you'll see it a few more times if you go over and look at that uh, playlist there's nothing there now but uh, I will be uh, putting the the radio controlled electronics into the, the Fokker E3 Eindecker and well that's pretty bad that's just not coming out at all nicely I think uh, trying to use a cleaned up brush from the previous piece of work was just not a good idea so I'm just going to stop now and um, that might have to be coat zero and that's going to be a blooper 
All right, so I guess uh, lesson for you. Um, I should have figured it in the first place, but don't use the same paintbrush if you're going to switch colors unless you've given it a chance to dry after you've washed it off. I'm now going to do the elevator and the rudder. So the elevator itself, I'm going to paint a, a nice green color. That's this color here. The elevator flaps and the um, and the uh, uh, rudder are going to be white. So I've got a paintbrush here to use for the white and another dry paintbrush to use for the green. I'll start with the white. If all goes well, I'm going to get some decals which will include stripes for the elevator. If not, it'll stay white. And the front of the yellow, uh, so the front of the router will be white like that. So I'm just going to leave that like that. I think that's quite nice. And now let's do some green. So switching paintbrushes, I'm going to paint the top side of the elevator um, this nice bright green. Uh, it's called grass green. We'll see how that goes. Maybe I'm thinking maybe a little deeper green might be nice, but I'm going to see how this one looks. And uh, I think it should be okay. Might be a little too bright, but remember, this is the first coat. Um, it will the the undercoat will show through, making a little a little brighter and a little whiter than it will be once I get the final coat on. So let's just see how that goes. I'm making a little bit of an effort not to get any paint into those slots, which is where the rudder needs to go. And again, this is the first coat, and the goal really is simply just to provide the foundation for the second coat, which is when things should start to look really nice. So really, it's just a question of not getting any excess, not any globules of paint, good coverage, nice smooth uh, layers of paint, so that it's ready for the second coat, which is, again is the money coat, which is the one that should start to look really sweet. So let's just see how we go. Kind of look, like the look of how that green is starting to, to look. It's maybe it's, this is going to be the right green once we get the second coat on and it darkens up and thus of the white showing through from underside probably should be quite nice let's see if we get just a little thicker coverage on this first coat if possible again the most important thing is the smooth coverage it gives us that foundation for the second coat so I don't get it quite as much as I want that's not that's the end of the world. This is not how it's going to look when it's done. The second coat is the magic. And of course the other message is don't keep going. You know, at a certain point there's a diminishing point of diminishing returns when you're not actually helping and it's time to just let it dry and this might be that time so I'm just going to stop there and let that dry so what we'll have to do before we get to the second coat will be turn all of these over and paint the other side as well and then come back and do the second coat I'll film all of that and put it together in the video all right let's keep going with painting the Sop with pup. So as you can see, this is the, the fuselage with the red on the cowling. I am absolutely happy with that. That is just really gorgeous. I, um, of course, we have to watch out. The, the next step will be to, um, to deal with, uh, we'll probably do this right now, to deal with the masking. What has to happen is I'm actually going to just remove this one piece of masking here and, and flip it over so I'm masking back there so I can paint the cockpit area brown.
but uh, apart from that, the fuselage um, and the cowling, I don't know, that, that's exactly what I had in mind. Looks really nice. Now, on the other hand, the elevator, I'm really disappointed in. Um, the streakiness is not so bad. I mean, I have a second coat on this side here, which is still a little streaky, but it, it's still a bit bright from my liking. Just looking at some of the real planes, uh, not real happy with how how kind of fresh spring green that is versus a kind of a dark um, navy green, maybe not navy, um, a sort of an army green. So I've actually gone off and, and bought a new green, which is called a hunter green. And I'm actually, I'm actually gonna paint the next coat with this hunter green. And then the, the elevator um, flaps, they're coming in white. Hopefully I'll have decals for those anyway. And the rudder, um, I wasn't happy with the white either because looking again at the at the, the real plane, the, the rudder is actually more of a cream color. So what I've done is I've actually started painting that. I've got one side done with um, with an ivory. This is the this is the paint here. It's an ivory, um, and 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 actually that one side that is painted ivory, I think that's that's absolutely perfect. So I'm just going to paint the other side of that elevator in ivory. The wheels. Um, the silver is uh, two coats in, not too bad. I think it'll take one more coat on the outside of the wheels and I haven't painted the back side, so I'm actually gonna do that next. And I'll be back in a second with uh, the cockpit. And then the next thing we'll do is, uh, is uh, I'll paint the other the rest. I don't see any. Oh, actually, one other thing I want to show you though is that I was finding that the paint was coming out quite streaky, and especially on this cockpit here. And so I switched over to these foam brushes, and that I think that's really what gave me that final nice smooth finish on the cockpit there. So um, I'm going to actually use that on the elevator as well.